What's up guys, I'm Mark about to start Fnatic Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people are playing Modern Warfare right now, multiplayer, and a lot of people are getting FPS loss, input latency, and they're not getting the frames that they should be doing with their specific machine, whether that be a laptop, a gaming laptop, a gaming PC, a mid-tier gaming PC, a high-end gaming PC, whatever the case might be, a lot of people are not getting the frames that they should be getting. Now, if you want to have... A smooth gameplay experience like this and good FPS like this. Capture the objective. So if you want to have a smooth gameplay experience like that and have good FPS, all you need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings, just like this, and press enter. Go to update and security and make sure that your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. Please go ahead and do this. Update your Windows on a regular basis. Don't worry, I'm also one of those people that forget about it, but I highly recommend you go ahead and do it. If you get a square block here that says download and install, please go ahead and do that. It needs it. It's an optional thing, but it, your machine needs that install. Once you're done with that, you go to home and you're going to go to privacy. Scroll all the way down and go to background apps. Now, a lot of people have this on and they have all of these things on over here. You can, if you want to, turn them off individually because I know a lot of people might use some of these stuff inside here, but I go ahead and just turn them off completely because it doesn't use resources like my RAM, my CPU, or my SSDs, or my hard drives, or whatever the case might be. It doesn't use resources in the background. So go to home. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to gaming. Go to gaming mode. Now, for a lot of machines out there if you put this on you get might get a little bit more you know like i don't know two three four five fps by turning this on or if you turn this off it does nothing right so even if you turn it on it does nothing for a lot of people this is just works different on different types of machines for me personally i turn it off because it doesn't do anything for my machine once you're done with that you are going to go to personalize and if you're on a laptop, ladies and gentlemen, and yes, this does work. If you're on a laptop, ladies and gentlemen, change this from light. I'm not going to click on this light button because I'm going to flashbang the living shit out of you if you're watching this video at night. Click on dark, turn transparency effect off, and click on a darker color. If you are playing on a gaming laptop or a laptop in general. This is for all people out there. I'm using a desktop computer and I still put mine on dark. It actually uses resources of your machine to run your windows in light mode with transparency effect on and with colors. Colors not so much, but these two actually plays a quite a big role inside your machine, windows itself. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to go to the search button here or you can click the windows key in R to bring up the run tab and you're going to type in temp just like this and press enter. And then you're going to click on anything inside here, press Ctrl and A, and delete everything inside this folder. So Ctrl and A to highlight everything, say delete, and then say do this for all kind of items, and say skip. Windows can't delete this file right now because it's currently being used, so you just close out of this. You're going to press the Windows key again, and R, and you're going to type in Shift, and 5 for the percentage symbol, type in temp, shift 5 for the percentage symbol, and press enter. Click on anything inside here, Ctrl and A, highlight everything, right click on it, say delete, and then say continue. You're going to delete everything inside here. If it can't delete these things, then just say skip and it will delete the stuff that needs to be deleted. And the stuff that's over here that can't be deleted is being used by Windows currently. You're going to go again to the Windows key and R to bring up the run tab, or you can go to the search button and type in run and it will do the exact same thing. You're going to type in prefetch just like this and press enter and say continue. You're going to click on anything inside here, press Ctrl and A, highlight everything, right click on it and say delete and delete everything inside these folders. You might have had, I don't know, 4 gigs, 10 gigs, 20 gigs, 40 gigs of stuff inside here that you just deleted if you haven't done this ever or you just done this or you haven't done this in a while. Trust me, it's actually quite a lot of space that people leave inside there. So I'm just going to right click on my, on my recycling bin, go to empty recycling bin and say yes continue and delete there we go just two gigs i do this on a regular basis and that was two gigs that i just deleted right once you are done with that you're going to open up your battle.net like this and obviously you play your call of duty through this application so you're going to go to battle.net over here and you're going to go to settings you're going to go to app you're going to go to this obviously your personal language 
This one you're going to put on Exit Battle Net completely and Exit Battle Net completely. Scroll all the way down, use Browser Hardware Acceleration. Now, if you have this ticked, untick it, it's going to ask you to restart Battle Net, then just restart your Battle Net and then come into Battle Net once you are done with that. You're going to go to Options over here and go to Show in Explorer. It will take you straight to where your Call of Duty is installed, double click on it, scroll all the way down, go to modernwarfare.exe, right click on it, go to properties, and go to compatibility mode. You are going to say disable full screen optimization, run this program as administrator, and say apply. Once you are done with that, you're going to change high DPI settings, tick this box, I sign into Windows, tick this box, make sure it says application, and say OK. Once you're done with that, you go change settings for all users, and you're going to do the exact same thing. Disable full screen optimization, run this program as administrator, say apply, go to change high DPI settings, Tick this box, I sign into Windows, high DPI scaling override, on application, and OK, say apply, say OK, say apply, say OK, and you should be done. Now, you're going to do the exact same thing with the launcher itself. Now, you just copy that, what I just did with the Modern Warfare, do it with the launcher itself as well. Once you're done with that, you are going to minimize out of this. Go to the search button and type in Device Manager, just like this, and open up Device Manager. Once you're over here, you're going to go to Display Adapters, click on this little arrow over here, and it will tell you what graphics card you're currently running. Right click on it, say Update Driver, and say Search Automatically for Drivers. Now it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed. Now this is the easy and simple way of doing it. There's another way of doing a fresh install of your graphics card to let you know if you have your graphics card drivers installed. And if it's a fresh install of your graphics card, just right click on it, go to Update Drivers, go to Browse My Computer for Drivers, go to Let Me Pick from a List of Available Drivers, drivers on my P computer or my PC, click on this and click next. Now I can't click next because it's going to stop my OBS, it's going to make my, all my screens black because it's going to do a fresh install of my graphics card. There's another way of doing this, go to any Google search browser, whatever the case might be, type in your graphics card and type in next to it space driver download and go ahead and download the latest drivers for your graphics card. So make sure all of those things are up to date, your Windows, your graphics card drivers, all of those nice things. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is for people out there that's rocking NVIDIA graphics cards. If you are using a NVIDIA graphics card, all you need to do is right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, and this is very important for NVIDIA users like me. If you are a NVIDIA user, this is very important what you're going to need to do inside here. Adjust image settings with preview. You are going to put it on use the advanced 3D image settings. Then it's going to say take me there. Then it's basically just going to take you to this over here. Now for a lot of people out there that's watched my videos before or you watched other videos, a lot of people say click on program settings, select your game that you want to change and then change the stuff inside here. Now, to be honest with you, I highly recommend go to global settings because here it literally says uses 3D Im image settings. So it's going to use your 3D image settings. You wanted to do the global, meaning it's going to do your whole machine for every game you're going to be playing, not just Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Right, all you need to do is follow my guidelines here, like my steps that I've taken and what I've changed, and you should be fine. There's two things I want to, actually three things I want to explain, so just go ahead and follow these steps. Off, performance, application controlled, off, on, application controlled, off, off, all, so you're going to click on this, click on your graphics card, OK. You're going to put this on off, the DSL factors, this low latency mode off, max frame rate. You can do this if you want to, it's your own personal preference. If you want to cap your FPS to whatever you want to cap it at, this is how you do it in NVIDIA control panel. I keep mine off so I can do the frames that I want to be doing. OK, this one over here, off. You're going to choose your graphics card inside here. Do not select, auto select, select your graphics card. Prefer maximum performance on the power management, driver default, on, allow, and then this quality over here, texture filter quality. If you have a budget gaming PC or a budget gaming laptop, put it on high performance. If you have anything a little bit higher than that, put it on performance. If you have a high-end gaming PC and a high-end gaming laptop, you can put this on high quality or quality. I put mine on quality and I'm good to go. You put this on on, auto, off, use the 3D application settings, one and off. And you're going to say apply once you're done with that. Then once you're done with that, what you're going to need to do next is go to adjust desktop color settings. Go to your main display if you don't have multiple monitors and it will only show you one and in there anyways. Go to digital vibrance. 
make sure you go to image three and change the digital vibrance inside your NVIDIA control panel and it will make your games look so much better. The digital vibrance will pop out colors in every single game you're going to be playing, especially in modern warfare, so you don't need to use NVIDIA filters. Now my sweet spot is 85 on my personal screen. A lot of people might have different screens where you press buttons to change it to gaming mode or whatever the case might be. Choose one that's correct for you that makes this color pop a lot. Don't put it on 100%. If you want to, you can go ahead and do so. But I put mine on 85, and that's my sweet spot. All right, you're just going to say apply. And once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into the game, show you the settings that I'm using, and then you should be good to go. If this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to the channel if you're a new year. And let's jump straight into the settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Call of Duty Modern Warfare right now, and then it's obviously Season 4. You're going to go to Options over here and go to Graphics. The first one is going to be Display. Put it on full screen. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. Put this on your monitor that you're currently running. Put this on the graphics card you're currently running, the refresh rate of your monitor, and then obviously the render resolution of your monitor. Now, I can advance this to put this at 4K, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to lose FPS. I highly recommend putting this on disable, put this at just its default, which is basically all the way down, which is going to be 10. Put this at automatic, or you can put this on whatever your monitor is. A lot of people play on ultra-wide gaming monitors and stuff like that, but I highly recommend just doing automatic over here. This one is V-Sync. If you want to cap your FPS to the refresh rate or the hertz of your monitor, go ahead and enable this. If you get screen tearing and stuff like that, then you go ahead and enable this. If you don't get screen tearing and you want to uncap your FPS and get the highest that you can, put this on disabled. This one you're going to put on unlimited and when you advance this, don't do anything inside here. This is brightness. Just make sure you can actually see the modern warfare symbol. So I put mine on 60% in brightness. Put this on 2.2, disable this and disable this and you're going to say apply to these settings. Go to quality. This is your own personal preference with field of view. I put on mine on 120, but I, I highly, highly recommend if you put this on anything, even if you put this on default, make sure that you put this on affected, not on independent. Put it on affected and then collapse that. This you're going to put on least, streaming quality, low, texture resolution, normal. This, normal, texture filter anisotropic, normal. This one you're going to put at high, this you're going to obviously enable if you want to have that enabled. This on all. This one on enabled. This one on disabled. Restart shader installation. We're going to get to that just now. This you're going to put on 1.00. And then you're going to put this on ultra performance. Now, if you do not have NVIDIA DLSS like me, all you need to do is disable this, put this all the way down, and then come here where it says anti-analyzing. Now, if you want to use anti-analyzing or you have to use anti-analyzing because you can't rely on a video DLSS because you don't have it, then put it on the one times, the T2 times, or the Fulmic SMAA T2 times, the highest one it can go to. I highly recommend go ahead and put it on that, and you should be good to go with quality inside the game. Now, I use the video DLSS, and I put mine on Ultra Performance. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, if you are using the video DLSS, put it on ultra performance, put this all the way up, and your game's going to do a lot of FPS, and your game's going to run so much better with this option right here. Depth of field, disable this. World motion blur, disable this. Weapon motion blur, disable this. It's a multiplayer game. You do not want to do this. You do not want to enable these things. I mean, it literally shows you a preview of what's going to happen. So let's just say you're busy playing this game multiplayer and there's some guy, I don't know, sitting up there. Okay, obviously in multiplayer you can't really get that high up on roofs. But let's just say there's a guy in that corner there and you quickly turn to your left and you didn't see him and he shoots you in your face. That's your own problem because you have this enabled like this. So disable all three of these things over here. Shadow map resolution, put it on low. These two you are going to enable. Particle lighting, normal. This, direct six ray chasing, you do not need this. It's not a single player game. It's a multiplayer game. You do not need this. Disable this and disable this. Actually, you can also put this on both if you want to. Your own personal preference, go and try it out. I keep mine on disabled. I'm Gucci to go. Once you're done with that, you're going to apply these settings. Then, once you're done with that, you're going to say restart shader, installation, and it's going to apply all these settings that you just set now for your game with by clicking on restart shader installation. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here. And as always, peace out.